This episode is sponsored by DistroKid. I'll show you how they're helping protect your music at the end of the video. Bad Bad Not Good have been releasing a bunch of new music as of late and I want to show you how you can create music like them inside your door of choice. And don't worry if you're not a music virtuoso, you can do it all via MIDI too. Let's dive into it. When creating a track like this, I find it easier listening to references and writing out the instruments you'll need inside the track headers at the side. Then creating your initial loop with built-in MIDI instruments first. We know that we're gonna need some keys, brass, bass, and drums for sure. Other than drums, I'll choose Ableton's electric keys for everything melodic. This will save you having to worry about sound selection and sound design for now, and you can put all your focus on harmony. Clef Grand's One Shot, who I've featured on another video, have just released their new jazz kit, which I'm going to use as a rhythmic anchor to the track. So here's my MIDI pattern, which you can of course just plug into the piano roll or use your MIDI keyboard if you want to. I of course use the E kit for just a little bit more fun. You wanna keep those drums nice and unquantized. Like I said, everything is very loose in Bad Bad Not Good's rhythm section. Notice that the hi-hat markers have a loud velocity followed by a quieter velocity. That's gonna give you that nice rocking back and forth hi-hat feel through the track. Unlike other forms of jazz, you might be surprised to hear the grooves stay relatively straight. So you don't have to worry about swing or shuffle grooves for this example. Like a lot of hip hop grooves, we kind of have that on beat, off beat kick and snare pattern. After eight bars, we're just gonna switch that same pattern to the ride. The great thing about this jazz kit is if you're not familiar with like rolls or ghost notes, then you can just take this snare up two notes and you get a little roll here. Super helpful stuff there. Very basic drum fill at the end of 16 bars. Quick little roll to get us started with the loop. The new jazz kit is gorgeous, but for bad, bad, not good sound, I'm just gonna switch that snare up, which is actually really easy to do inside one shot. Select your sample. Select your new snare sound, that's it. That snare is extremely dry, so we wanna just send it to a room sound and give it a little bit of reverb too. If those tom sounds are a little bit too overtone filled, then what we can do is select those toms, turn the envelope on, pull that hold back and reduce that decay a little bit. That'll help sit it in the mix just a little bit better. On to the melodic stuff. I recognize that jazz chords are maybe a little bit more advanced. We're using a lot of sevenths, ninths, elevenths, even thirteenths sometimes. So to make it easier for myself and for you guys, I created this jazz genie. Maybe you want kind of like a housey pattern. It's similar to my other chord progression generator at the Patreon, but we can choose to play extended chords, which can be strummed, arpeggiated, and have the velocities randomized. Like I said, it's over at the Patreon if you wanna grab it alongside this project. I think this can be helpful to pair with the MIDI monitor. You can kind of see what that chord looks like and then what notes you potentially wanna use for the bass, which is what we're gonna use it for in just a second. Bad Bad Not Good has quite a playful bass rhythm. It's almost funky. Normally we'd start on the root note and hold that downbeat, but here we're gonna play a quick ascending and descending riff. You'll find it most helpful to turn on the scale option inside the piano roll and then perhaps sing or hum your melody idea to better ground that into the page. If music theory isn't your friend, nail those long held notes first. So once again, you're finding your anchor points within the mix and then you can go back and fill in the playful blanks. As you can see in this example, my ground in notes are gonna play a pushed beat, meaning that they're gonna play one beat ahead 
of that second bar's downbeat. So here's that first bar of four here, and that ground in note is playing ahead of the downbeat of the second bar, and it's doing the same ahead of the downbeat of the fourth bar as well. And then we start again with the next eight bars. Once you have these notes in place, you can then start to fill in all of your playful stuff, which I'm using the Jazz Genie to figure out what notes are gonna work. So you can see that I've got the F sharp, the G, the A, and the C sharps here. If I go up to my Jazz Genie, which I introduced you to, if I select the E flat, I get a G flat minor 13 chord or an F sharp minor 13. I have the F sharp, G sharp, A, and C sharp notes available to me there, as well as the D sharp and the E. If I go into the bass, you can see they're the notes I've selected for my first kind of playful downbeat. And I carry on like that in a similar fashion. Let's add our wind instruments. I'm taking almost all of our inspiration from their latest track, First Love. Sometimes we have more of an Ethiopian jazz progression inside Bad Bad Not Good's tracks, but this time it's more of a slow ascending pattern for almost two bars and then some kind of hook. This simplicity makes it a great earworm for your audience. And we can duplicate that on the track above and an octave above so we get a little harmony. We wanna make sure that if we add accents like this on the offbeat, that every instrument accents those offbeats. So let's listen to that with the instruments that we have so far. So you'll notice that the bass joins that ascending pattern at the halfway mark of four bars. but then starts to descend to create a harmony in the last bar of four bars. There's that ground in note there. From here, we can use that chord generator that I spoke of to fill out some playful filigree from the keys. It's not up front in the mix, so don't overdo this. It just needs to be in a higher octave to add some sparkle to the track. So you can see here that I'm automating the minor, seventh, ninth, eleventh, and strum patterns to give us different flavors of chords. Back to the straight strum there, so we just get a quick stab, and then rolling that strum down with the additional ninth there to get a different style of chord. Chord. Following this, what you can do is go from all ins and just select that Patreon Jazz Genie so that it records those chords in for you. So now we're at our sound design part of the loop. I'm going to keep that chord instrument as the electric, but underneath, I'm going to change it to my face's organ sound, which I've built inside Serum. You can see here that I'm doing a little bit of EQ automation to just back up that chord sound. Just creates a little bit of a bounce and a little bit more width. Similar to my Krungbin episode and Polyphia videos, this style of music is only going to be as good as the sounds you use. However, for the melodics, a lot of the things in this episode will come with Ableton or have Ableton alternatives. As I mentioned, anything Ableton related, including this project, is available at the Patreon, as are some spaces where you can study music production with me one-to-one -one on Zoom. With Chester's bass, I'm just gonna use the Ample Bass J. I talk about this collection all the time. It's a really good bass sound, but I wanna add a little bit more saturation, so I'm using my Better Help plugin, which is available over at the Patreon. So that's just gonna help pull it out of small speakers, but it's also gonna sound a little bit more aggressive as well. For the brass and woodwind, Ableton actually has some really nice sounds that come free with Suite. You just have to download them from the PAX tab at the side here. I wanna duplicate some of the saxophone parts by putting a lower harmony underneath. That's just a quick copy and paste job. And that's just gonna, again, thicken up that texture. And I'm gonna be using the sounds inside Brass Ensemble Legato. Like I said, you can grab these from PAX. A little bit of basic EQ, but that's essentially it. I'm gonna duplicate that with the E-flat clarinet solo preset, which is also found in the orchestra collection inside Ableton, orchestral woodwinds. And again, a little bit of EQ8 there at the end. Duplicate in that an octave higher, just gonna give it that extra width. And then I'm gonna put that in a group with Golfos, which you don't see me use that often anymore, 
more, but that just takes out some of the mud of an instrument. Shapeshifter, which is a wonderful mastering plugin, it's going to give me a little bit of parallel compression and a little bit of extra fuzz. The color limiter, that will give me a little bit more grit that I mentioned whilst giving me a limited sound. EQ8 to roll off the lows and a line delay to make it a little bit wider. So the before and afters of that group chain is this. should be instantly brighter and a little bit more aggressive. I make sure to humanize these elements with the humanize key inside the piano roll so that they play a little bit differently to one another in terms of time and I pan them as well. Now to really hone in on this sound and make it less dry, make sure to send these two sounds to the A and B buses with some quick delay and short reverb to replicate that echoey room sound that we have in Bad Bad Not Good's tracks. I also just wanna add a little bit of chicken scratch guitar. So I'm using the strummer mode of the Ample Sound Semi Hollow to just give us this sound. I don't think you have to worry about any particular notes here, but I have chosen the C sharp sus too. With the guitar here, you could also double up the same chords as the keys, but I think with that organ present, it's not really necessary. This is only really a three or four piece band with the addition of Matthew, so extra tracks will be minimal. I think this would be really nice to double with some percussion to get some extra rhythm here. So for the backing percussion, I'm using one shot once again, some lovely natural congas with this preset here. That pattern with the two tonal notes on the end is like a basic cha-cha or salsa groove. So you're applying that to the congas. And then just repeat throughout. So if we listen to that with the chicken scratch guitar, and then to the drums as well. Nice. The drums, I've just added a little bit of glue compression and my BetterHelp plugin to pull it out of the mix. This is a very loud drum mix inside Bad Bad Not Good's tracks. And that's basically our whole track. And from here, you essentially have your basic loop to build off of. Bad Bad Not Good takes another influence from hip hop, keeping an extremely simple, repetitive pattern throughout. So if this is your A section, you may want to repeat the process for a separate B section and then just mute certain instrument parts and replace them with an instrument solo towards the three quarters mark. That's essentially it, guys. And let me know if you enjoyed this episode and what you want to see in future. Oh, and if you're going to release music like this, use the link in the description below to get 7% off your first year with DistroKid. Not only are they my go-to to get all my music on all the platforms, but they also ensure we can protect our music as well with DistroLock. It gives your music a fingerprint to ensure that it's not duplicated anywhere else without your consent. For those with the ultimate plan, members get Page Defender, which can be a great addition to automatically detect any unauthorized changes to your listings on Spotify and Apple Music. Like I mentioned, you can get 7% off your first year with DistroKid and find all my amazing musical tours at the Patreon link in the description below. Thank you so much for swinging by and I'll catch you next time.